Hello everyone, welcome to Educators Plus. And in today's short video, we will be discussing about difference between a survey and experiment method. So basically, surveys are conducted in case of descriptive research studies, whereas experiments are part of experimental research studies. Second point is that survey type research studies usually have large samples because the percentage of response generally happens to be lower and it could be as low as 20 to 30 percent, especially in the case of questionnaires, right? Whereas uh, experimental studies have generally need small samples. Then the next difference is that surveys are concerned with describing, recording, analyzing and interpreting conditions that exist or existed. Now the researcher does not manipulate the variable or arrange uh, for events to happen. Uh, surveys are basically only concerned with the conditions or relationship that exist, opinions that are held and the processes that are going on, right? Uh, but uh, in case of experimental uh, research studies, deliberate manipulation is basically a part of this method. And in an experiment, the researcher measures the effects of an experiment which he conducts intentionally. So yes, then the next point of difference is that surveys are usually appropriate in case of social and behavioral sciences, uh, whereas experiments are mostly an essential feature of physical and natural sciences. Then the next difference is that surveys are an example of field research, whereas experiments generally constitute an example of laboratory research. Another difference is that survey may either be census or sample surveys, and they may also be classified as social surveys, economic surveys, public opinion surveys, right? Um, and uh, whatever be their type, the method of data collection happens to be either observation or interview or questionnaire, right? Uh, Case study method can also be used, right, in survey studies. But in the case of experiments, data are collected from several readings of experiments only. Then the next difference is that possible relationships between the data and the unknown in the universe can be studied through surveys, whereas experiments are meant to determine such relationships. So yes, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video helpful. Then please do like, share and comment and stay tuned for the more upcoming videos. Thank you.